Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll look at some of the new data coming in this afternoon and the new trends. Um, it's all about this primary storm system today. We've had heavy snow falling since last night, all day today through much of uh, Utah, Colorado, Northern New Mexico, and Wyoming. Tomorrow is going to be a big powder day, cold air, super cold air in place, uh, cold smoke, obviously, um, and big wind. And now on the back side of this, there's a cutoff low spinning in California, waiting to eject, waiting on this Albuquerque low to move out. Really, that's why this is the primary storm. It's setting the stage for everything else that's going to happen for the next seven to nine days. So it moves away. The California low sits and spins for another few days, dropping heavy snow in the Sierra. We've even seen blizzard warnings on some of the mountains surrounding LA. I mean, this is, this is the real deal. And then this storm will eject and move across the Intermountain West for a couple of days. After that moves through, there's another storm system. There's like a parade of these things with a perfect jet pattern, a powerful jet knifing in, really producing some great orographic snows. That'll come in and serve as the, um, the storm of residence all the way into 313233. So there's a lot of things to talk about here. Let me just show you what I, um, what I saw this morning. So I expected about 18 inches overnight at Alta. They got 19. So today's a big pattern day. It probably, um, you picked up at least another six to 10 today into tonight. So tomorrow's another big pattern day. You can see the view, still snowing like crazy. Um, it's in the teens, and um, yeah, again, just a lot of snow there. Jackson Hole reported a foot of snow in the last 24. That now puts him at 407, so cracking 400 for the season, and it's snowing there most of the day as well. So tomorrow should be another excellent day. Uh, I'm curious what the temp is there. Uh, well, let's just take a look, because that will tell me a lot. Two degrees on top, seven at the bottom. So that is some serious cold air, high ratios and just blower powder. Um, I wrote about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com. Take a look, please, and, and subscribe if you haven't. It's easy. You just go to the end of the blog, and you put in your email right there and hit subscribe. You'll get a confirmation and an update anytime I do um, a blog update, which is pretty much every day. So take a look at it. There's the pattern on water vapor. Big low, that's the pattern setter. Two lows behind it. Powerful northern and southern branch colluding. Uh, for this uh, setup. There's the jet stream pattern. Let me just show you what it looks like here. I'll take it full. Um, and this is the afternoon jet update. And there's not much difference for 3-1, but a powerful low swinging through California. Um, so we've got the cutoff low now, and then the second low that comes in behind it also drops down into California and almost cuts off. That's why we're going to see 50 to 100 inches of snow in the Sierra. That's what I'm forecasting. 50 to 100 inches. Um, it, it's just one of these perfect setups with a couple different lows, powerful jet orthogonal to the range, um, and then that low would slide across the Intermountain West on 313233. So that takes us pretty deep into the period. All right, let me look at timing. And uh, we'll take this full as far as the forecast radar and satellite goes. Here is Thursday morning at 6. Southern low, spinning in California for at least a couple more days, ejecting some moisture out, still there on Saturday, 225. Then it begins to make its move on 226, 227, sliding quickly through the Intermountain West. Look at the big low coming. You see that on 227? Look at the spiral into the Pacific Northwest. That's going to be another major storm system, my friends, for the West. The pattern just rolls on. Um, take a look at the blog. I also broke out the snow totals and uh, timeline. Look at Alta. Look at all this snow that's yet to go. It's like almost every single day. Um, tell you ride. Um, so it was snowing hard today. I was expecting a foot. Another eight tomorrow. Another, you can see the amounts, maybe another six to ten. These are my forecast totals from this morning. I've got updates on all these with afternoon data. Let me just show you what I'm thinking. So the rest of today through the 24th, you can see the numbers that have uh, essentially yet to fall. Another five to eight for the Tetons and the Wasatch. Big snow continuing in California. Uh, one to three feet um, through the 24th, and then we'll add to that beyond that. In Colorado, another four to 12. Um, so again, tomorrow's gonna be a big powder day. Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Northern New Mexico for that matter, California. So there's phase one. Here's phase two, 225 through 33. So this takes into account the ejection of the California low plus the one behind it. 
So you've got another 40 to 50 inches in California. That's why when you add that to period one, we're looking at 50 to 100 inches in some of these places with the biggest totals at about around Mammoth, looking at 90, 90 plus. Um, another foot, foot and a half in the Wasatch here, another couple of feet for the Teton. So those numbers have gone up. Big Sky has gone up, looking really good there. And in Colorado, another six to 12 inches through 3-3. Three, three. All right, a few specialty maps. Um, Southern Colorado, of course, we picked up about two feet, one to two feet out of this uh, the storm system the last 24 hours. Now what remains, the rest of today through 3-3, three, three, another one to two feet roughly, with some snow even down to valley levels of Durango. So we've got good snow ahead. Um, central and northern mountains of uh, Colorado, another foot roughly to two feet, depending on location. Um, with the heaviest totals being Vail Pass West and up towards Buff Pass. But uh, some good snow yet to fall there, of course. Um, one more uh, specialty map here. Let's go to, uh, the, to the Wasatch. Uh, you picked up roughly 24 inches in the last 24 hours. Now we were going to add another 24 between the remainder of today and 3-3. So um, some really excellent snow that has yet to fall across the west with these additional storm systems and let's not mention or let's not leave out the northeast you know i mentioned big snow for the west i'm also looking at a, a really nice period here um, snow remaining again a lot of snow coming in very late tonight tomorrow into early 24 for the it's coming in two phases that's phase one the second phase would then come later in the period with another storm system so this doesn't all come at once this one to three feet but it will come in the form of two different storm systems. So there you go, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Be safe out there with all this new snow and have fun. Take care.